Before we actually go and fight the Steel Dragons, I actually want to go and buy some Eye of Newts, which if you didn't know, you can buy it over here at the, uh, what, what encampment is this? The Ogre encampment. There is a, an herbalist here. You can actually go in here and he sells Eye of Newts. So I'm going to buy some Eye of Newts because we can make super attack potions with that. It'll help us penetrate that steel armor. Plus it'll give us herbal lore experience. And then after, I'm going to go buy that. I'm actually going to go over to the Crafting Guild because the Peninsula by the Crafting Guild. Where am I looking? I am Crafting Guild right here. Peninsula right here. Spawns Snape Grass, which let us make some prayer potions, which will be pretty great. Hopefully people aren't camping them, but I would like to grab them to make extra prayer potions. Here's our Ogre Encampment if nobody's ever been here. The Herbalist is down here, I think. I think this is him. You just have to walk up and around here and then you can just go on down there and he'll sell you some Maya Newts. That's simple. And easy. You don't have to grind. You don't need the Herbalist perk. Even though that is a good perk. I just really like the XP, man. Uh, in fact, I think that is a better option than what I picked. But I still I, I like mine a lot. So, let's talk to the merchant. Come on, give us some Ionutes. There we go. Uh, 390. How much is in one of these? Also, I kind of want to get a couple of these because we're running kind of low on these. They aren't really that expensive here. Let's just buy a bunch of these because... When we come back through, or we'll always want super attacks, so... And I don't even know if I have Mortar and Pestle. I think I do, but just in case I don't. And then we'll go ahead and go back to the Castle Wars. And let's make some super attacks, and then hopefully go get us some uh, prayer potions as well. Oh yeah, 2,000. That, that'll do us just fine. I don't think we'll need any more than that. Literally ever. Alright, super attacks inbound. Ooh, look at that XP drop. A lot of XP for one. On the upside, this will give us quite a bit of XP for our herbalism, which is good. Pain in the butt to make, so, or pain in the butt to level up. And super attacks are always welcome to have. I'll try to only use them on bosses or things like steel dragons, because steel dragons are kind of obnoxiously tanky. All right, we can make a couple super strengths, which I'll try not to use at all, because... I don't have a ton of those, and I'm not sure if you can actually, if there's any way to get any of those. I'd have to look it up, but uh, we'll just save those for boss fights or anything. Might even save those for a type of raid or something, I don't know. Alright, let's hop a couple times, and hopefully these aren't being eaten up by everybody, so it'll be free snape grass right here. Won't have to kill anything for it. Shouldn't take too long to get an inventory's worth either. All right, well, that took literally no time at all, and we have an entire inventory of snake grass. All right, time to go back to Castle Wars and start making some prayer pots. Make 30 prayer posh. Posh potions. Nice, easy task I didn't even realize I was going to complete. All right, after all those potions, I don't think I'm going to make any more for now, but that got us to 51. Protecting me. We're 63. That's nice. I don't know why my voice recording didn't actually show up here during this clip, but it, it didn't, so you missed my reaction. So let me, let me give you a little taste of that. Oh my god! The Runite limbs! On like the third kill! That's crazy! But I'm still gonna stay, I guess, and finish the task of these dragons. Kill a couple more to see what I get. Maybe I'll get dragon legs, who knows? Yes, I, I didn't get dragon legs. Did get two Runite limbs, though. Alright, so my goal here is I've come back to Varrock. How's our magic bonus looking? Pretty awful. That off. It's as positive as we can get because we have like no magic gear. But uh, we're going to go kill the caged Zamorak monk over here. Because he has a chance to drop us. At least I hope he has a chance to drop us. I don't remember if this guy actually drops us stuff. But we need Zamorakian robes. And I plan on going to God Wars dungeon, which I have never actually done before. I know I've been there before like one time, but I've never actually done God Wars. The only reason I need to go there is I, first I want to go there just to get some dragon boots. That's my goal. And I need these so the Zamorakian mages don't just all attack me constantly all the time. I know he's in here somewhere, but I got to find him right here. Monk of Zamorak. So we're just going to set up a spell. Gonna fire blast him for the most XP, I think. I don't know if he has enough 
health. So maybe we'll just do we'll just do firebolt because it's cheaper. And we'll firebolt him. And if he actually does drop what we need, we can telekinetic grab it out of there. She didn't. This could be a while, but that's okay. It's taking forever to respawn. Thought it would be a kind of quick respawn. But maybe not. If that's the case, we might have to actually go to a place with them, which is possible. The Taverly Dungeon has it. We can go to the Taverly Dungeon. That's where we've been fighting all the blue dragons. So, I guess we'll probably go there. Well, I've never fought Zamorakian monks that I remember. I mean, I'm sure I've fought them before. I don't really remember if they're dangerous for me or not. I mean, I should be able to whip them out. 45, level 45, they should get destroyed. It'd be easy. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, let's whip him down. There's a robe top right there. Kill this guy because he was in my way. I went for him so quick. Alright, so we got the robe top, which actually does give us attack. Well, it's a magic attack bonus. I think it does actually give us one. A very slight one. But it does give us one. Uh, I might, I'm going to just knock out the rest of these guys just in case they drop the bottoms. But other than that, we got the top. I need to see what else we need to go into the uh, God Wars dungeon because I'm not sure if a bunch of other stuff is going to attack us too. I might need to get a bunch of different God items so I don't get murdered. I love how just joining the order is as easy as walking up to the stair and be like, Ah, oh, only people in our order can go upstairs. Well, can I join? Ah, oh, you seem suitable. All right, go on up. Okay. Uh, if you didn't know, you have, to, you have to have 31 prayer to do that. But still, it's easy as just walking in here and... And like, yeah, I'll be a monk. And they're like, all right, cool. I went ahead and got their monk's robes as well because other than the fact that it gives prayer bonus, which is nice, I don't think two of them will be enough to get me the... Yeah, there's a task for getting like plus 15, which I don't have enough on me right now. But anyway, I went and got ahead and got that because that gives us Zamorak and also one of the other gods. Which one is it? Um, which one is it? Saradomen, I think. So we have protection from both of those minions while we're in god wars but like i said i've never really been in god wars for any extended period of time so i don't really remember anything is and i have to pro technically protect from four different clans and monsters so we'll see how this goes all right this is our goofy ass setup right here we were rocking a full nothing basically we got a rune armor on us, but we're rocking our Zamorak Bronk robes and our Monk robe bottoms just so we can protect ourselves against those because we really want to just kill the Zamorakian monks anyway because they have the dragon boot drop, which would be a great upgrade to our hand boots that we've worn forever. Uh, we're bringing a ring of life and our amulet of power, our combat bracelet. If we do die, we should keep our whip. Um, if I, I, I don't even remember how to look at that. Here we go. We'll keep our whip and our defender and our cape, which is fine by me. We have a replacement for this entire run set. We can buy these two pieces and we have another helmet in our box. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. And if we have to, we could buy it back from death. Uh, we brought a bunch of food. We won't get that back, but that's whatever. We have plenty of that. So we're going to see how this goes. I have no idea. I brought rope because I don't know if it'll be ready. And I brought a hammer in case I want to fight Bandos. I have no idea. All right. Let's see what happens when we go to God. I don't even. Are we supposed to be taking damage here? I don't even remember. Wow, that's a, that's a strong wolf. Good lord. We're just gonna get on through here. Clearly we're losing some stats. Okay. Climb down hole. Cough, cough. Hey, over here. Hey, over where? Oh, this guy. Wasting my food and health. We do have spiritual mages over here. Which is what I want to fight. So that's good. It's a little dark over here. Do we usually need something to light it up? I have no idea. Like I said, I, this is all pretty much new to me. Pretty much. So I can put my armor on. Because uh, we're only... The only thing that's over here should be things for Zamorak. Uh, so let's fight them. Uh, we probably should only fight the mages. I don't think the warriors actually drop the... Uh, the lay... Or the boots... All I'm really here for is the boots. That's our goal. But if we could do something else crazy, we might do it. Un unsurprisingly, we're almost out of food now. And obviously, there are no dragon boot drops because we haven't killed that many. Oh, all right. Well, we got the dragon boots. So, uh, sweet. That's a 100 point task and a definite upgrade for us. 
that only took me 24 kills i'm i'm okay with that um so even though i'm completely inexperienced came in here with little food got what we needed we can hop up out of here if we want to come back later we will i kind of want to come back to try to kill bandos because i really want the bandos chest piece and tacits for the strength bonus and the defense bonus but we're kind of lucky as it is coming in here just to snag us some dragon boots so we're just going to get our way on out of here with our trusty old dueling ring we brought for teleportation we can always teleport back here but that's not a big deal we'll just remember next time we definitely definitely need prayer pots and we definitely need to know where the hell we're going in there hey boys i'm getting greedy i want to go back and try to fight with our budget gear here i'm gonna very budget like whew, super duper budget we're gonna go try to fight a bandos and see how that goes it's gonna go great i believe we're gonna get a bandos chest piece first kill and we're gonna get this kill without any problems it's not gonna use all of our food and we're not gonna get destroyed by the ranger at all okay not gonna happen i should probably go get my prayer back real quick before i teleport there but you know whatever get the shit kicked out of us both ways let's go on in baby going for melee tank chain put this in put this on and get the shit kicked out of us let's drink this uh oh we need to drink eat one of those going for this need to put some defense on put some strength on uh i don't know if it's a good idea to kill this guy first is that a good idea i have no idea doesn't look like it because it looks like the boss is destroying me with like a ranged attack of some sort. Do I have to like turn auto attack off? Is that the problem? The mage is messing me up, but I can't fight the mage if the boss is obliterating me when I get near him. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're getting this kill, but. I blame the mage. <laughs> Why am I taking some range damage hit from the boss? I don't understand that. Yeah, now I'm taking a ring. I'm going to die. That's how I had the ring of life on me. Well, that didn't go quite as planned, unfortunately. I actually did a lot of damage to the boss itself, but the problem is the mage did a ton of damage to me. And I couldn't get into a spot where that the boss wouldn't stop ranging me with his 26s or whatever he was going to hit me with. If I could just kill the mage, that'd be great. But then the boss hits me with a ranged attack. I don't know if he's hitting me with ranged or magic. If he's hitting me with magic, then I hope I could just kill the minion and then be able to fight the boss without any issue. That'd be ideal. But I don't understand how it works. Don't ask me why I'm going to try this again, because honestly, I don't know. But we're going to try to kill his mage minion. I think if we can kill his mage minion, we can just melee defend against everything else. That's the hope. Let's switch over to magic once I get in here. Up to the door here. Get in here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to eat immediately. Go straight for that. Go for a range defense so he can't hit me with his range. Kill the magic. Taking a crap ton of damage. Need to just heal that. Yeah, that guy's dead. Then we go melee. I drop me two sharks. Great. Need to get in range of him. Just him. This guy needs to get the hell out of my way. He's making me get hit by range. It's super annoying. Super annoying. Alright. I can't kill Bantos. I don't understand it. There's too much to focus on when I'm doing it. I guess I'll have to figure it out later. Unfortunately, on that fail is where we will end this adventure today. But we did get dragon boots and we had tried our hand at the first ever Bandos kill for me personally. And it didn't go well. But after going over it again while editing, it could have been worse with no knowledge. Uh, we didn't die. Um, so that is something it was all knowledge and knowledge is half the battle. So thank you guys for watching Hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like down below or hit that subscribe button 
And I, I get the feeling that a lot of people don't know that I have a little Discord channel that keeps them up to date and a Twitter. It is down in the description. Like it, It's there in every video, so if you guys want to check those out, I don't really actively do anything on those. There's a general chat in my Discord, but uh, nobody really goes in there. But it does show you any time that new videos are released. So if you want to check that out, it should be down below. Anyway, guys, we'll see you for whatever we do next. See you later.